call the uh, Hartford City Council into session on uh, November the 18th, 2021. A uh, regular well, special call meeting tonight, since we've changed the, the meeting date. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and have invocation. Would you bring yes, in? Well, God, we just want to thank you for the night. We thank you for the meeting. We thank you for each and every one's here, Lord. And Lord, we ask you to take hope to this meeting and take hope to our city and let us work things out and do it in your promise of what you want us to do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. <clears throat> Uh, see, we have some visitors. Y'all don't have anything special to bring before us, do you? No. <laughs> uh, we'll take a look at the minutes of our last meeting. If you'll take a gander at those, and then whenever you feel comfortable, make a motion to accept those or make amendments to it. Accepted. All right. Motion made. Second. Second. Okay. Any discussion at all regarding the minutes? All right. And not all those in favor. Thank you. Motion's carried. All right. Take a look at our city attorney and see if she's got anything special for us today, which... I've worked on that. I told her I'm sorry. <laughs> I was a little puny for a little bit, but I'll, she'll have it ready for the next uh, meeting. <clears throat> okay. Uh... Then we'll take a look at our financials. If you've got any questions at <coughs> all about those, any discussion? If not, make a motion whenever you feel comfortable. Hmm? Yeah, I raised this one. Make a motion. Okay, second. second. Jury. Any discussion? <coughs> All in favor, except and thank you. Uh, we'll open the floor for old business. Uh, the first item there is Ordinance 2021-06, which you have in your packet. It's the uh, ordinance regarding the water rates. Uh, somebody will read that motion, then we'll, we'll read that ordinance, then we'll entertain a motion. In ordinance of the City of Hartford, Kentucky, setting water rates, sewer rates, and all water and sewer customers inside and outside Hartford City limits. Okay. I need a motion to adopt that ordinance. Motion's made. Second. Any discussion? Better catch up. Made a motion to accept it. She seconded it. Okay. Any discussion? Then all those in favor, uplifted hand. Thank you. Any no. opposed? No opposition. Okay, motion carries. Uh, second item was the priest house demolition. Uh, I had four names. One of them, the phone was disconnected. And the second one, I never could find a number for, but I did get two estimates. Uh, Carol Ralph estimated operating by the hour and taking uh, the length of time would be somewhere between seven and ten thousand uh, dollars. Clay Gaither said uh, estimate was eighty five hundred to nine thousand dollars. So those are the two estimates that I've got. Both of them are basically doing the same thing, just tearing it down, putting all the brick, stone, anything that's all right, into the basement, hauling everything else off. Who was the first one? Uh, Carol Ralph. 
it was, he said it's anywhere from seven to 10,000. And then Clay Gaither, 8,500 to 9,000. I don't, I'm not familiar with either one's work or anything like that. If anybody's familiar with it, you might make a recommendation. I am familiar with Clay's. I know Carol both, but um, that's a pretty good jump on the first one, seven to 10,000, you know. Yeah, he's operating about the hour, so he just said. It, but you know, if we set this, he's gonna he's gonna make it at that ten thousand. If we, so Probably. that's <laughs> it's kind of like <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is the we house in both bed. of them uh, work? Carol tore her house down for Dad. Did a fine job, and Clay's done work for me and Dad both, and did a fantastic job. Yeah. I know. I know Clay is insured. I, I, I'm assuming Carol is. I don't yeah, know. I'm sure they both are. Do you is have a house in bad enough shape that ten thousand dollars won't fix it up? Heaven no. Not the foundation mm -hmm. and, and everything else. Is no. no it's, if you go look at it, one corner of the front corner of the house yeah. is just pulled away. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. like this, just in the <coughs> corner alone. The garage is pulling away. Did they say it? Any either one of them give you a time frame that they would start? No, I told them it wasn't time. really any hurry, you know, because a lot of it will depend on weather. Uh, Clay said probably three days, three days to get it. I guess my next question is, would that come out of um, occup occupation? Would that would that be where y'all wanted to take that out of? Well, either that or we we could probably stand it in the general fund, can't we? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we said, I think initially we wanted to uh, use occupation tax for infrastructure right. purposes. Okay. So, yeah. I don't know to turn the house down to infrastructure, but Have a motion by anybody? I make a motion to move ahead and select someone. Okay. And get it torn down and out of the way. Okay. Have you got anybody in mind? Either Carol or a Clay Carol or, or anybody Clay else? One. My opinion, I, I, I would rather to try to save $1,000 if we could. Um, and I, I think Clay would be that 1000 And I might be wrong by saying that, but because... He went from seven thousand approximately to ten thousand. Right. We're city government. Everybody knows. Once you set that, they're going to try to be, meet that. Yeah. And that's yeah, my opinion. There's no way he'd do it for seven if you vote that. And that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's you my wanna, personal. Don't set opinion. a limit on it. Oh, seven to eight. Huh? Want to set a limit on it? I don't know that we can really. Well, I think. I mean, that's be, an estimated time, and if we contract, the biggest thing that they're going to have problems with, and I think that's where it's at, the equipment's one thing, but the hall bill is where it's at. Mm -hmm. And that can get costly. Yeah, yeah, I can. Well, Clay is going to put everything in big dumpsters. Okay. You know, big garbage. Um, yeah, the containers. And yeah. And he had to check with them to see what prices were, and that's why his estimate is a little closer, a little narrower than... Carol's going to have to haul his off by truck. Uh, that makes a little and sense that, there, you know, too. Then, I mean. <laughs> well, Did Clay give you a time frame? Day. No. Three days. Three days? Both yeah. of them are three days. Both of them are about the same. Basically, they're just going to... But he's got the dumpsters. He checked on the dumpster. Yeah. <coughs> makes me feel they're both like, They're going to knock the windows out, and then they're going to push it in and start pulling stuff out to put in the dumpsters and then walk the rest of it in to the basement. basement. So are you recommending Clay? Or Moon Mary Bell's motion for Clay? Yeah, I would. Well, you know, she just said we're going to tear it down. We've already decided we're going to do that. We just need to know who. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's my opinion. Yeah. Um, that's my opinion, opinion too. Okay. <clears throat> Clay? Is that your... I make the motion that Clay... So the motion is that 
to give the contract to Clay to tear down the house. That's what Reverend Coleman just said. Well, you, okay. <laughs> Um, we're all talking. So that's a first. Who's got a second on that? Yeah. Second. Okay. <laughs> Just take your pick. <laughs> I think they will all think of the same thing. Yeah. yeah. So. All right. See so any discussion to this? Well, that that puts it in the basement and stuff, will that be covered up with dirt? Well, yeah. we'll we'll end up covering it up with dirt, there's I'm a, sure. There's a lot of it down there to the lagoons that they've stopped from the... Yeah, that's right. Road, road work that they've yeah. done, so we can take all that and push up there. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, we can do that, and of course, it's going to have to settle, and we'll have to fill it some more <laughs> times, you know, before oh, springtime right. rolls around. But, yeah. Yeah. And Clay, if you if you look at the house, there's a mound of dirt out in front of it. You come yeah. out in front of the house, mm -hmm. and then it, you walk out a while, and Clay may end up pushing that dirt in, making it smoother transition mm -hmm. there flatten it out a little you know for building purposes or whatever okay any other discussion okay all in favor of the motion all right motions carried i'll notify both of them okay um we go to uh, new business then uh i had a a citizen come to me about church street Everybody knows where Church Street is next to East Hartford Church up, yes. up the hill. Yes. Okay. Well, At the top of the hill, there's a three-way stop. Nobody's stopping. And he, he said, you know, people are just speeding right on through that without hardly slowing down. And he said, uh, to bring it, would I bring it before the council is to remove the stop signs and put in a speed bump there. So I told him I'd do it. Okay, so I've done it. <laughs> <coughs> I wish that were the only three or four way stop that people did just didn't speed well, through. If you're going to remove a stop sign, you may have to do that by ordinance. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. have to do it by ordinance. Well, yeah, I say leave it there. <laughs> the stop signs were put in by ordinance. We've got to take them out by ordinance. So yeah. if you want to, we can do it. If you don't want to, I'll present it to you. So that's fine. And the speed bump's already in, right? Do I? Didn't they get the speed bump in? That's on curb. Speed bump is already in. We've got one, yeah. It looks nice down there. We've Where's got it? a speed it bump that we can today. put up Kurt there. It's nice. It's on Kirk Street doing the trick. <coughs> yeah. I was down there in the back porch and watching. <laughs> you see me go for hers. You don't take it too, too fast, I no, can tell you. Sir. Did you get rid of the one down by your house? Did you get rid of the one down by your house years ago, didn't you? Well, what we've done is we've repaired the street, repaved it right up to it, so we kind of took the speed bump out. You know, it's speed bump one way and right. jump the next way. <laughs> right. Well, they needed that on Kirk Street, though. Do what? They needed that on Kirk Street. Well, I mean, they flew up down there. We we could, Oakwood Drive is a yeah. racetrack. Yeah. It's a mini parkway. Yeah, they're there. following the lines, too, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they think it's all. Uh, okay. Us. You're going to let the stop sign issue drop and just leave it like it is? Yeah, yeah leave, leave it like it, like it is. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Um, then our informational, the Hartford sign design. I've contacted a fellow up in Litchfield, Tim Beck. He's done some work around here. He's looked at the signs. Uh, he was, I hoped that he would have me he said, I'll, I'll make up two designs for you. Uh, I would hope, I had hoped that he'd have them before tonight, but as soon as I get them, I'll let you all know when you stop by the city hall and look at them. Uh, it's going to be a little more, have a little more character, the way he described what his thoughts were initially. Uh, we'll have to take the signs down, uh, we'll sandblast them. Get all that old paint off and uh, put, um, you know, new coat, undercoat. Uh, he wanted something like a light beige background, not a white. And uh, he wow. had some color combinations in his mind. Uh, so he, these are going to be painted? Do what? They're going to be painted? Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, 
this last sign that had uh, little vinyl decals on it, just what it was, vinyl lettering, just ad adhered to the paint. Uh, this will be hand painted and all three of them will be alike. So anyway, that's where we stand on that. Have that's we got prices from like the trophy house or anything like that? Do what now? Have we got prices at the trophy house or anything like that? Trophy house doesn't do it. Well, they done my big sign out there at the park. Well, I, I went over there and she said, I told her what we wanted, you know, what I had, uh, what kind of a deal. And she said, we don't do that. In fact, she's the one that gave me Tim's name to, to call. Well, how about the vocational school? Uh, I don't know if they'd, it'd be more like the art class at, at the high school, but I don't they know if they have. These. I think Leroy did these. Huh? I think Leroy did these. Thank you, Frank. Leroy did? Mm -hmm. He was a heck of a painter. <laughs> Wait and see what they look yeah, like. Yeah, I'll let you see what these two designs look like. If you don't like them, we'll just go another route. I mean, look at um, it. Um, yeah, I would remind you if you haven't paid your property taxes, you need to get those paid before the penalty uh, sets in. How are those going? Have we, have we got, had a good response so far? Mm. Not as good as we hoped. Hmm. I seen but did we get the property purchased we talked about? The what now? Oh, no, he hadn't, con did, uh, he hadn't contacted. He's supposed to contact her about getting a, a deed for part of the property he doesn't have. So we still got that. We're still got to work on getting that straightened out. Or he does, not we've done all we can do. Um, I'll close out my part by just saying I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving and enjoy your time with your family and friends. And, and then I'll open it up to if you all have anything you want to discuss. Anything? You, Where do we stand on the water tank issue? Uh. I talked to Earl last week. It's in the Division of Water right now, getting an okay. Uh, he said uh, probably the first two weeks we'll, uh, in January we'll advertise, uh, take bids, and then begin work probably in March. And then... Uh, well, you know, they won't do it during bad weather or anything like that, so weather's just too iffy right now for them to do anything on. So there's there's a planned uh, schedule. He's talked to two companies that seem to be interested in putting in a, submitting a bid on that project. So. Anybody else have anything? Did we get the flow meter or whatever it was we were going to use to test the amount of sewage? Yes, um, they had some trouble getting it calibrated right. Um, it was it was giving out readings that didn't make sense. The flow meter down there at the pump, yep. the sewer pump, mm -hmm. uh, is it working now? Uh, Jim Morris is still working out the bugs on the calibration. Okay. I probably will. I'll check with him tomorrow and just touch base with him, see where he's at on it. Okay. How many months have we been fooling with that? Do what? How many months have we been fooling with that or years? Oh, how long has that been in? Six, eight months, something like that? Probably close to eight. Okay. It's Four been in, but yeah. all the time before that was. Whatever. Yeah. Anybody else have anything at all? Entertain a motion to adjourn. I second. 
Second. Is that first? I guess I'll first it. Huh? <laughs> I'll make the motion. <laughs> you can second me. <laughs> uh, don't look at me like that. <laughs> All <laughs> favor. <laughs> Thank you. You all have a nice Thanksgiving. You too, Mayor. Oh, yeah, the Christmas Happy. praise, December the 4th. I'm going to need a lot of help on that. Yeah, I meant to ask about that. What's the story on that? Well, December the 4th, we'll be having uh, floats, walking groups, cars, what whatever, Santa Claus in a fire oh, truck. Okay. Hmm. Other than that. How many have you got? Floats and parades? Nobody's registered yet. It just says as they uh, show up. We'll if I get something them. together, Mayor, huh? if I get something together for a float for the city officials, would you participate in that, maybe? Well, ride the fire truck and toss out candy. Well, I, I do that all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>